Hello, and welcome to episode 27 of Paint Eagle's Foolcraft series. I'm Paint, and this is gonna be good. So I'm back on Ira's Foolcraft server, and today I want to do some more Batania. Uh, in between episodes, I've been letting this thing up here run for quite a while, and it just, it's not, it's not fast gathering in the metals. Um, we're at... 32 stacks of iron here and it's going up um, But I'm, I'm just gonna let that run for right now, and I'm gonna work on Batania Since I don't think we need a whole lot of those materials for Batania right now And if we do need them, then uh, we'll just shut it off for a bit But what I want to do is I want to make This functioning flower or a generating flower right here uh, Kekimuras so this eats cake and creates mana. For this I need two white, two orange, two brown, a pixie dust, and this rune of gluttony. Well, I've got all these runes, so let's start on the rune first. So we'll go here, and rune of gluttony. Takes two mana diamonds, a winter, and a fire. So mana. You know, let's make two runes of gluttony. I think we get these back. So I don't think we need multiples of these. So let's see. Fire. Two of these. And there we go. Get rid of this extra manure. And let's see how... Yeah, it's... You see how slow this is going? I've been assisting it a bit by throwing some epic bacon on there and that in just a second you'll see a huge boost right there and then a huge boost hits but it's just not quite fast enough for me. yep i get it back so i'm gonna get this next one kicking off and we'll go work on the next part of these flowers so gluttony let's see Gluttony goes here. So we need pixie dust. Which we have none of. It's made by mana pearls in that thing. So let's just throw four in and get a handful of pixie dust. Alright. Oh, and you're done. See, we now we have our runes and we are moving on okay so and I'm also moved this over here um, I just didn't want it crowding over there I want to try to work out this area some more to make some more Batania stuff so, rod of the seas so let's just start gathering the ingredients so we need a pixie dust we need a rune of gluttony. Alright. Now we need two brown. See. There we go. Two brown, two orange, two white. So two brown. Two orange, and it looks like we're out of white. So I'll just use him, and we'll make some more. And I bet my shears are in here. Yep, here they are. Now I need bone meal. And I can just throw these up, take them out with this, and then they each give four. We can just do a whole line of them. Then bone meal them up. Oh, I guess that was... Oh, there are just a couple brown in there. Or one brown. That's alright. And then shears. And we have lots of extra flowers. Alright. And I'm going to have to come up with a way to automate flowers a little, little better later. 
two of that, two of that, and two of that. Now I just need to throw some seeds in there. And I've looked through some ways to automate this stuff, and most of the standard ways, um, you know, things like using dispensers and stuff, has been completely disabled in this pack. So I don't think there's going to be a good way to automate it. Cake, though, I did automate that. Uh, let's... Will you eat the cake? Yep. Taking a bite. See how much mana it's got. It generates a little bit. I think most of this time is going towards trying to drain it out. This thing is constantly full. So I think what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to make a better mana spreader. So let's work on the elven mana spreader. Elven mana spreader. So we need dream wood. Dream wood, pretty simple to make. Just living wood through the portal. So I'll start spouting out dream wood. And it takes a little bit of time, but that's all right. We got dream wood coming, almost done, and there we go. Okay. So what else are we missing? That's it. All right. So now we can stick this right here, and we can bind it to there, and we can bind you to there. All right. Now this should be eating, hopefully a little faster. It's a little bit, not a lot faster though. Looks like it's still having trouble getting through all the mana. Yeah, this thing's just absolutely filling up every time. We might have to upgrade this even farther soon. And to do that... To do that, we can go... So we get the basic and the pulse, which is what we have over on the... This setup over here. So the basic and the pulse. We have the elven mana spreader, which is this here. It just goes a little faster than these basics. It can go farther. The pulse holds more. Then we can upgrade to the Gaia mana spreader, which takes these Gaia spirits. And in order to get the Gaia Spirit, we have to defeat the Gaia Guardian. And I don't think we're quite ready to defeat him. So what I want to do is I want to make some of the weapons from Batania. So the Terra Steel, here we go. We can make the Terra Blade. Is it living Wood? Let's just make a handful of these. All right, Terra Blade. Boom. This gets charged up with mana. It does some cool stuff. Then the Terra Shatterer. This is a really cool item. What this does is as you fill it up with more and more mana, you can see its rankings up there. It just gets stronger and stronger. So it's D, C, B, A, S, and then SS. And when you have SS, I believe they can all, yeah, they can all mine Cobalt level, but SS just mines ridiculously fast. Uh, this, well, let's see if it's in the book. So, items. Here we are, Terra Shatterer. So the rank of the tool, full mana pool is required and most cost tenfold per rank. So C to B is a full mana pool, and then from it's 10 times that for each level after that. So the rank of the tool does not change its speed, but instead increases the power of its active ability. To toggle the tool's ability can be done via right click. Um, tool takes damage for every block broken to keep mana. It's not going into a special ability. But I think we might want to might want to take a look at that. Uh, some of the other things we can make is a Terra Truncator. And that basically just takes out an entire tree with a single shot. Uh, let's see. Is there more? There's Terra Steel Armor. And that's some awesome armor. Um, 
and this virtuous pickaxe. Yeah, vir virtuous pickaxe. Wow, it's hard. Wow, I'm having a lot of trouble talking right now. Virtuous pickaxe just has silk touch for glass and stuff like that. Um, this elementium equipment is just pretty basic. Um. Yeah, it's it's all pretty basic. Nothing super powerful. So I'm going to go throw this in a mana pool. Charge it up. No, do you not charge up? Maybe it's just based on the, the mana in my own inventory. But check this out. It has a, a ranged attack. There. It shoots a mana burst. Now, it's not every swing. Well, maybe it is every swing. Unless you're spamming. Then it won't do it at all. But every time a swing recharges, you get a, a burst there. He does a decent amount of damage, not a ton. Uh, one thing that burst can do is it can hit Enderman, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's work on that, this thing here, the Terra Shatterer. Looks like we need a blank mana tablet. And then Terra Shatterer. And this thing absolutely does need to charge up. So I think for this, I'm going to make a whole new mana pool. There we go. Whole new pool. And a spark for it. And then we want a... Uh, not a node. Let's see. I bet it's, we'll see it under spark. There we go. Uh, spark Augment Dominant. There's our Spark Augment. Okay. So now, you can go right here. And you'll have your node. And your Augment. And now this thing will fill up from all of these here. So we'll let that fill up, and I think... I think I'm going to want to make a couple more of these before I really start, uh... Well, this is keeping up some pretty good mana production there. I'm going to have to make more elven mana spreaders. That's what I'm going to have to make. So, elven mana spreaders. Let's make them out of purple. Let's make three more. That seems like a good number. And then we need six more of this. We need six more of this. Five, there we go, six. We need six more of these. And we need six more, or three more reeds and three more pixie dusts. We got two mana. Let's go make one more of this real quick. There we go. Now for the for the runes. So that's fire and winter. So fire and winter, and then mana diamond. All right, and two mana diamonds per recipe. And we're off. Now we still need to get some three of these. And let's get started with this recipe here. So, two of that, two of that, two of that, one of that. Oh, we don't need one of those. Do want one of these? There we are. One of these here, and it's ready. So let's grab the seeds that we need. Three seeds. We're gonna want to keep that in our hand. We're gonna want an open hand. Make up our room 
and then we can grow this down and our mana diamond all right so we can grow this in here do that and then just like that we're ready for the next one but this is empty so i'm just gonna wait for this to finish and then we will Wow, these go, it goes a lot faster though with the, uh, with that set up properly. Some good generation going. Alright. That's looking good there. Let's get this last one going. And we can throw this in here. Fill it up and make our third. Just like that. So if we had all the ingredients, it would make this a lot easier, but that's alright. Now for these, we want one, two, three. We're gonna bind these each to their own. So you're bound to there, you're bound to there, and you're bound to there. And this should be pretty good about keeping it all pretty well stocked with uh with cake so we can have lots and lots of cake being made put winter away put gluttony away put fire away yeah so now this will never despawn as long as it's in there so we'll just leave that in there and let that oh, i think this has to be there we go let that charge up. Yeah, you can see it going slowly. Oh, uh, but these things aren't powering it right. Okay. There we go. Now you can hear them munching like crazy. And that's making lots of mana. Filling this up and filling that up. So we can leave that alone, it'll go. Um, but I think I might want to start building the place where I'm going to fight the Gaia Guardian. So first thing I need is I want a layer of stone and then a layer of dirt. And I went and made the dirt essence seed so I can make a lot of dirt. Um, because I wanted it for this job and, uh, couple others that I'm working on so let's see let's make it up here right above the power thing yeah, right on our roof for now that seems like a good idea so this at least to start it is gonna be by hand I bet but after that we can really start kicking off with that Builder's Wand. Let's see. Builder's Wand. And I'm back to this Unbreakable Wand, because it is fantastic. And this, yeah, this works well to build a nice roof. So now my entire area down below has a roof on it. But of course, that was not enough uh, bricks. I'm impressed by how many bricks it's going to take. So I can just build up this roof. And then we can put dirt on top of it. And have a nice place to fight um, what really might be one of the hardest bosses in all of Minecraft. Like all of modded Minecraft. Except maybe the Chaos Dragon. But I don't I'm not sure we'll get to him. I don't know, we might. But something tells me it's not gonna happen anytime soon. My oh no, out of range. Let's get rid of that and get some extra room. Don't need the salt. Let's see. Can put that away and grab a whole extra stack. And now, 
actually really nice when I'm down there out of the rain can't hear anything and here we go so this is about half of it done this is taking a lot of stone bricks now you can see why I use the builder to build most of the time um I think half of it is probably good enough for for the Gaia Guardian. I'll just fill in the rest of my stone bricks here. Which won't get me far. Yep. Not even halfway around. So the Gaia Guardian. Ooh, this is going to be... I can just snag him from here. There we go. The Gaia Guardian, to fight him, the centerpiece needs to have a beacon. So let's just put a beacon right here. There we go. And now I can grab an actual beacon, the, the top part. No? I thought I had that set to autocraft. Beacon. There we are. Nice and easy. One beacon. And it's a good thing we can fly or else there'd be no other way to get up here. So beacon. There you are. And are you working? It looks like you're working. All right, so now I think we need to surround this beacon with dirt. And if that's not a requirement, then at least it's gonna look nicer because we're just gonna make grass up here. We'll have a, a rooftop garden, something nice and fun. I think it needs to go out about that far. out of dirt. Almost. I bet. Yeah, I'm close to out of dirt. And now I'm out. Okay. Well, let's check the book here and uh, see what's what we need to do for the Gaia ritual. It should say miscellaneous, maybe. Uh, let's see, dispenser planting. Yeah. Well, anyway, miscellaneous. Let's see if we can find the Gaia. That's under here, maybe? Nope. Um, here we go, Ritual of Gaia. So, uh, if you want to read this, I'll let you pause and read it. But basically, we need to create these pylons and set them up around the beacon like that. And you can visualize this. And get stuck under the roof uh, but we can visualize this right I guess I'm gonna have to break the beacon to get it to visualize correctly right there so now we need to make these Gaia pylons so let's make these up that uh, should be pretty easy So, Gaia Pylon. It takes Mana Pylons. These are super easy. One, two... Oh, but we are now out of Mana Diamonds. Alright. 
we really need to make a lot more of these mana diamonds, don't we? Yep, we're completely out. Let's just make a quick stack of mana diamonds. Yeah, they're just going to town. I wonder what level this guy's at now. Yeah, we're at B. We're getting close to A with this thing. Let's hold on to it for a bit. Let all this refill on its own. These mana diamonds. Oh, mana diamonds get dropped into here. Well, then it's especially a good thing that I let this refill. Uh, let's throw them in here. Yep, that might take some time. So I've only got two of these, and I need two more. Hmm. These are going as fast as they can. But yeah, these things... These things have eaten up a little bit of mana. This thing ate up a ton of mana. And these are trying to refill as fast as they can. This one probably has the best bet. Because that one's refilling me. So I can just do that. Alright. Let's make some more mana pylons. That's a third one. Let's make some gold. Ooh, we're out of gold essence. That's not right. Maybe it just paused it slightly as it was gathering. Or maybe it's doing a really good job of putting all the gold into that drawer. That's another option. Let's see. Gold. There we go. There's our fourth one. So now we need to make Gaia pylons. There we are. And we need more pixie dust for this, so more mana pearls. I think I've got some... Nope, just in here. Ooh, and we're not going to have enough. So uh, it is a really good thing that uh, we took that Terra Shatterer out, or we would have zero mana left. Let's just make some up there get our pixie dust here all right now we should be able to make our gaia pylons go pylon and we have our gaia pylons wonderful now let's grab some dirt We are almost done with that dirt up there. Uh, let's grab some more. And how about a pasture seed? That way we can get some grass going up there. Ooh, we're going to have monster spawns up here, aren't we? Let's check how this looks. Oh yeah, it's going to be monster spawns. Like crazy. Go light this up. Yep, they're spawning. Uh, let's go grab some more torches. Yeah, grab a nearly a stack of torches. That should be enough to get it lit. light this up on our rooftop and I'm sure there's gonna be patches that I'll have to go in and fill in but for now this will work uh, not you no 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 also so the Gaia Guardian 
uh, the way it works is the more people you have fight it, the harder it is. So it gets stronger when you have like 10 people trying to fight it. That way, you know, like when you do the the end dragon and you're in there and you're just like bring up you bring a whole server on and when you have 20 people shooting at the dragon it's not a big deal to take it out but with the Gaia Guardian the more people you have working on it the stronger it is so it makes it even harder to take it out all right I think we're pretty well lit up so let's take these guys out yeah it takes a couple hits from this but it can be Actually, I don't think this the projectile can be powered up with anything. I think it's just it's just the blade that can get things like sharpness and stuff. Uh, but that's all right. We can we can manage. We'll have other weapons to use. So let's see what this says about. Uh, that's what we need. We need a Terra Steel. There we go. So a Terra Steel tells us that we don't have our pylons in place, so it won't tell us anything. So let's see. And I, I think it'll actually start even if we have it like this. So maybe we shouldn't start yet. I was hoping to give us a border of how big this is going to get uh, without these pylons in place. There we go. Structure complete. So that's a message from Batania, which is an absolutely fantastic mod. Um, but that tells you, when you have a structure that you finish off, it, it gives you a warning. It says, alright, structure's complete. You don't have to go on anymore. That's what's causing the break. Alright. So here we go, here we go. And now I don't know if I've shown you these pasture seeds yet, but these things are cool. Just drop it down, and grass grows everywhere. So it's a great way, you know, instead of transporting grass to a grass tower or something like that you do in vanilla, you can just drop it down there and grass starts to grow. And this will spread like normal grass. Um, I think that looks like about the right size for an arena. Let's see if we can give it a diamond and get a health boost. So diamond, let's get regeneration. Nope, we can't get regeneration. We'll get speed and haste. Hmm. You know, I'm not very good at at the whole um, the beacon thing. Here we go. Speed. Haste. Speed. So does this give us regeneration or speed? We might be a little bit faster, but it's not really noticeable. All right. Well, this is probably a good time to cut the episode, so thank you so much for joining me on today's adventure in Foolcraft. I'm Paint Eagle, and have a fantastic...